Its cause is unknown. You can't really come up with a reason why they develop it, and that's not really understood. Its cure is uncertain. We know this is a progressive disease. It tends to get worse over time. And without warning, it could change your life forever. Each year, more than 800,000 Americans suffer from a debilitating neurological disorder known as Parkinson's disease. My biggest difficulties are bringing my hands up to my face or to my head. The problem I have is, for example, shaving every morning is something that's hard to do because I have trouble bringing an electric razor up to my face. And my hand shakes and my arm gets stiff. For Mark Helms, constant tremors have made living a normal life nearly impossible. Now Mark will undergo a revolutionary procedure that will take doctors deep inside his brain while he's still awake. When others say there is no hope. At the end of my day, I feel like I've really made a difference in patient's life. Explore the mystery. We can stick something into the brain and sort of reprogram signals. Believe the impossible. You could take two pills instead of having the surgery and have the same effect. I think that is really one of the next big steps. And witness the future of medicine. Penn Vital Science. And here's your host, Heather Kahn. Hello and welcome to another edition of Penn Vital Signs. The human brain is the most advanced organ in existence. In fact, if you were to combine all of the world's telephone systems, they would occupy less than 1% of the brain's storage capacity. But despite its amazing capabilities, it also has many unexplained diseases. For Mark Helms, it is Parkinson's disease. Tonight, you'll have the opportunity to follow a team of medical experts from the University of Pennsylvania Health System as they help this patient battle his devastating condition. As a leading neurologist at the Penn Neurological Institute, Dr. Howard Hertig is no stranger to Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is a degenerative disease of the central nervous system affecting mainly the brain. And by degenerative it means that there are cells in the brain that are dying prematurely for unknown reasons. Typically, victims of this disorder don't begin showing symptoms until their mid-60s, but this was not the case for Mark Helms. It was about seven, eight years ago, I started to notice a little bit of a twitch in my left hand. But as time went along, I realized that what I know now is a tremor started to become a little bit more noticeable, more frequent, and just, you just couldn't ignore it. The exact cause of Parkinson's disease is still largely unknown, and for now, a cure does not yet exist. But this father of two remains hopeful for a breakthrough that might end his illness. My kids and my wife have been very good about just accepting what, what some of the problems I have I think you learn that everybody has problems, whether they're physical, financial, per personal, family problems, and that's, you just play with the cards that are dealt with. Although medication has helped to control Mark's tremors, increasing muscle stiffness has prompted him to search for procedures that could reduce his complications. Nikki Gravel is another patient who has come seeking answers for Parkinson's disease. They have these excellent centers, what they call, and there's several in the United States and all over the world, and Philadelphia had one of the excellent centers, which gets a lot of the, uh, the new medicine and everything that's new for Parkinson's and movement disorders first. Poor posture, leg tremors, and rigid muscles have caused increasing difficulties for Mickey. But despite these problems, her faith keeps her strong. We especially think of our sister, Mickey, as she's preparing to uh, have surgery tomorrow. I have such a strong faith in God that I'm just going to get there and just, because it's not in anybody's hands but God's. And um, all these prayers will be going out for the, me and for the team, surgeons, but it's all bottom line is God's in control, not me. 
know, why did I do this? I could be there now helping. And I just want to be able to, every time I talk to her, to know that she's all right and that she's not stuck somewhere or sitting in the house like a, you know, because she can't move and, and go out and do stuff. I just want to know that she's going to be all right again. On the brink of complete frustration, both patients learn of a unique therapy that could significantly reduce the symptoms of this disease. It's called deep brain stimulation, and Dr. Herdig believes this may be the option both Mark and Mickey have been searching for. Uh, deep brain stimulation has been around now for about a decade, and it looks like it has a healthy future, at least for the short term. Now, the way it works is that the surgeon puts a thin wire into a deep region of the brain. The wire is then connected to a battery pack that's planted in the chest. And that battery pack will stimulate the brain and suppress the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. It's essentially a rewiring of the circuitry of the brain. The electrode that goes into the head is able to turn off an area of the brain that's overactive. Dr. Amy Coulter is a neurologist at the Parkinson's Disease and Movement Disorders Center of the Penn Neurological Institute. Deep brain stimulation is a really exciting prospect for patients who have unpredictable motor fluctuations during the day. It adds a degree of predictability to their day which they can't get from medicine and makes it easier for them to plan what they want to do and actually go out in public and do the things that they enjoy. Although deep brain stimulation does not cure Parkinson's disease or alleviate symptoms completely, it could provide the relief both patients need to live more normal lives. My hope is that I, my life will be a little bit less complicated. I don't expect to be cured. I don't expect maybe to go back to work full time, but if I can shave in the morning and then without a lot of hassle, if I can drink a cup of coffee without it spilling on me, I'd be a happy guy. Mark's decision to attempt deep brain stimulation was made almost immediately. Despite the dangers of brain surgery, he knew his chance for improved health would be worth the risk. I'm apprehensive, I'm nervous, excited, a whole bunch of emotions, but the uh, toughest part right now is just waiting. So I have confidence in the doctor, so I'm not worried about him. I'm just just worried about the whole thing. But the Penn surgical staff will support Mark throughout the procedure. You know, we were building a bonding relationship with the patient because they know that their lives are right in your hands. You know, even just holding their hand, just giving them comfort and know that we're gonna be by your side no matter what happens. For Mickey Gravel, the possibilities of this extraordinary procedure are also overwhelming. I'm just looking for some relief. Even if it's just one day that I can go without having the, the symptoms, one day would be worth everything. When we come back, surgery day arrives. But with an operation this serious, success cannot be guaranteed. If you would like to chat with some of the physicians from the Penn Neurological Institute, log on to PennHealth.com or call 1-800-789-PENN for more information on Parkinson's disease. You can even schedule an appointment. Thank <laughs> you.